There we go. Sorry about that. Trying to get my camera to do what I want it to. Okay. So here I think I'm just going to add the gold. Um, got some gold resin mixed up and some black resin on there. And then I'm going to put some of these on. Um, I was just live on TikTok, and like I said on there, these boards sell really well, but I only make them on the holidays. I don't know exactly why I do that. Um, maybe I'll make them all year, but they're kind of like a holiday thing that I do. Um... They've always done really well, though. Alright, so... I'm just gonna move this gold around and then I'm gonna use my cell spray to create some lacing and cells in here. And then I'll add a little bit of shimmery, shiny, I just used my heat gun to like move everything around, create some really cool effects, and just kind of push it where I want it. Um, I suggest if you're getting into resin art that you just kind of play around to see what happens when you do what, if that makes sense. Like, if I do this, what is it going to do? If I add this before I add this because honestly you can use the same products in different orders and get totally different results you know what I mean um so I think just kind of learning your craft is like really important um I really do I played a lot and I say played but basically, like, I like to push my products that I use until failure to see what can I and what can I not do. So when I blow the black over the gold, it immediately creates lacing and cells. And when I blow the gold over the black, it creates like a frothy kind of um, like more elegant uh, look like a flowy kind of look if that makes sense and I like to go in between the two and just create uh, something unique
don't know if I want to add these on here because this is really pretty as is. And I'm not sure that I want to add these on there. I think I'm just going to torch it and maybe I'll do something else with those. Because um, that's really, really pretty. So I'll take the camera down real quick and show you what I've done thus far. Um, and then, I'm sorry, it's I just left TikTok so my music is... Can you guys see good or no? Because that the lighting just looks really off. Can I? Hmm. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a filter on here. <laughs> it's not bubbles. I want you guys to be able to see the true colors. I'm sorry. I guess there's not. Um, so this just has, hey, yeah, it is blurry, isn't it? I wonder why. Let me try to clean my lens. I'm so sorry. Did I disconnect? Uh, here's a couple of the geode boards and gold. I'm sorry. I don't know what's up with this. My camera seems like it's just not um, wanting to cooperate. We're going to do some oceans now. Get some resin mixed up. So, let's go do that. I need one, two, three. I'm doing one, two. Uh, two geodes. And then the rest are oceans. So, let's get some resin mixed up. Ted, there's the clock. It works. <laughs> and I'm now like super addicted to freaking clocks. So uh, I bought a bunch more clock stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to get over here. All right. So here's some more of those little geode boards. Can you see it? God, the sun is like kind of beaming, isn't it? And this part right here is just super, super shimmery. I put um, diamond dust and uh, diamond dust and just crushed glass. <coughs> All right, let's get some more resin mixed up. And then we're gonna do our oceans. Um, let's see. All right. <clears throat> of course, I'm using Moss Epoxy's Art Pro. resin pigment paste eye candy pigment paste and my white wave kit uh, neatest fluid woodworks uh, cell kit it's a wave kit that I make and I need gloves It's so quiet over here. I can't play music because of the copyright stuff. Um, but, get my Art Pro. Where's the other jug? Oh, there it is. All right, so let's get this mixed up. Uh, I screwed it into the into the wine barrel thing 
I drilled a couple holes and um, I screwed the wood. I screwed it into the wood because it ain't. I don't want it to ever come out of there. I put two in each side. I figured that'd be sufficient enough. And if it ain't, I will hear about it. <laughs> I laugh, but it's not funny. Because <laughs> wouldn't that be some stuff? No, it, it is. I always make sure that my stuff is high quality. Otherwise, I don't think I'd be where I'm I know I wouldn't be where I'm at. Only certain people can get away with selling junk. So I'm going to contact um, Super Clear and Liquid Glass and see if we can't um, get some going to work together. Get me a... Get me a... Um, some kind of... Um, damn. Let me be quiet. I'm just going to be quiet, okay? All right, let me get some pop and sticky sticks. All right, so I'm all out of popsicle sticks. So, from Amazon. Everything I use and order is on that Amazon shop link. Um, I am an influencer through Amazon. It's just a box of sticks. Why do I have an alarm at 3 What am I supposed to be doing at 20? All right. So we'll get this mixed up. Um, the resin that I use is here. Moss. I'm going to get some kind of sign or banner made. But for now, it's better than just trying to say it and people being like, what? The deep pour epoxy that I use for now is Incredible Solutions. Fluid with 20, it gives me super clear pores. Um, just really, really, really clear pores. So fluid with 10 for moss epoxy, and then fluid with 20 for eye candy pigments, incredible solutions, star bond, CA glue, pretty much uh, the stuff that I use in my everyday work is... Um, let me go and grab some hot water to soak my epoxy in. I've yet to get a shop that has running water in it. Be right back.
tarot. Would that be a copyright thing? If I listen to my tarot? All right. So it's chilly out over here. It's like, it's nice, but it's still a little chilly, which means that your resin's gonna be super thick. It's lunchtime. Mm. Um, so I put this in hot water and it just helps it mix better. My wife made me a salad. It's so good. Some shrimp. Because <laughs> I'll be out here and I will not go in to eat. Yep, but then I can't monetize it. You can't monetize any other video. You have any music up, Ted. Unfortunately. So yeah, in the beginning, um, basically in the beginning when I first started and I wasn't monetized on YouTube, um, I could use, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no music, <laughs> um, or in my headphones, which I just don't have on right now. Um, because I had my music on for TikTok. TikTok don't care, but YouTube is super finicky with that. Um, I use U-Cut. All right, so do you see the difference in that consistency? Like, this is super, super watery now. You always want to pay attention to the temperature of your resin. Um, if I leave it in that hot water for too long... It's going to cause it to have an exothermic reaction, which, yes, epoxy is always going to have an exothermic reaction, but it's going to flash cure because that temperature is going to rise up and it's going to cause the resin to flash cure. And we do not want that. So the only, the only thing that I was doing with that hot water is just bringing the viscosity of this resin down. You see, now it's much easier to mix, much easier to work with. Um, it's just all together um better for me because it's chilly outside i live in michigan um yeah it's nice enough to not wear a jacket but it's still chilly enough that your resin's going to be super super thick so if you do by chance either soak your jugs or your your cup always make sure you dry your cup off because when you're pouring any of that water that's left on the sides of it when you pour you don't want that to get into your epoxy because water and epoxy do not mix um they just don't it's gonna be really really bad so don't do that um and let's see <clears throat> i think that's it so um, I'm going to do white, I'm going to do a white, and then I'm going to do a clear. I do my other two blue colors. So, I do, let's see. This is going to be my white. And my clear. 
and then these three are going to be my other three colors so when i do ocean pours here i'll show you some of my work real quick okay don't mind my lunch <laughs> i was hungry uh that's not an ocean pour let's see so when i do my boards like this I always use three different colors and if you look at any of my Facebook posts um, you'll see all of the depth and yes this says up um, I made this piece and I thought I was done flattening and I just sanded like I couldn't see under here so I sanded and then I started doing my my seal coats and my flood coat and I was on TikTok when I did it and I realized that I didn't finish flattening this and it said up and there was two dots on it and um i had like five people wanting to buy this as is because they're like no we want that like it's gonna be worth money one day like it just shows that you know nita nita messes up yes nita messes up <laughs> but um i think that was i, I thought that was kind of funny that they were like that it that it sold that way they were like nope finish it i want it just like that i was like really okay sure sure that was odd but all right so we're gonna get my white out i sell a wave kit uh, Hold on. Let me grab my stuff. All right, so I sell a wave kit. Um, this is Cell Magic, and this is True White. So um, this is True White Pigment, and this is Cell Magic. If you want to see them at work, um, look up uh, Battle of the Cells, the updated one, and I show you 20 different products and... Um, it's 20 different white products, some of them that are specifically for cells and lacing or claim to be, and just like acrylic paint and things like that. Um, and basically seeing what works best and what kind of look you're going for or any of that stuff. So, um, yeah, Battle of the Cells. It's the updated Battle of the Cells. So. And I'm sorry if my video is grainy. I will figure out um, specifically what I need to do to have higher quality lives in YouTube. Um, basically because I want to spend a lot more time in YouTube. Um, I've taken the time to grow my audience in TikTok, and um, I've always just really wanted to concentrate on YouTube and do longer form videos and things like that, and I just never did it. Um, but I'm gonna do it now. So you're gonna see a lot more of me here on YouTube, um, just doing tutorials and things like that. Uh, I have, I think, two videos coming out today, if I can. I'm, I have an artisan market that I have to go and set up for tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to try to get them both up today. One for sure. Two if I can. Um, but I am trying to be more consistent here on YouTube lately. All right. So we're going to pour some of this for clear. And then we're going to pour some for the white. And the reason that I'm doing the clear, if you look in the description below um, and you're interested in it, I do epoxy resin e-courses, uh, one for geodes and one for um, um, the ocean art. I try to explain everything in depth. Even though I walk you through, it's kind of just nice to number one, you get access to me afterwards um, in the Google Classroom. It's kind of a community. And number two, 
Um, it's just easier to have everything for me, not saying for you, for me, it's easier to have everything mapped out. Like, what do I do first and second and third? So that's why I thought it would be beneficial to, um, do e-courses. Okay. So I break these in half and I'm going to do my white. So we got the white. I'm gonna add a little bit more white in there. I'm just gonna pour it. I bought these bottles before trying them. And let's just say that next time I'm not buying these bottles. I don't like them. I feel like one pump and I should be done. But um, they kind of, I was trying to go more for branding, but reality is that I want what I want. I don't care about the branding. Like, I'd rather do a pump and be done than have to open up a... Alright, so there's white. And here's my clear. So my white is, like I said, it's true white. It's just really white. And that mixed with the Cell Magic... Um, this gives you really good cells and lacing, and I need a paper towel. I hate that the quality of these YouTube videos is not higher. Alright, so we have Dark Turquoise. This is by Just Resin. All the things that I use are linked in the description below. All right, so this is an epoxy pigment paste. It looks blackish, but it is not. It's just a really dark turquoise, like it says. And then I use candy blue. And then I use um, Atlantis. So here's the candy blue. It does not take a lot of pigment paste to color your resin at all. I probably had these containers for like a year. Seriously. Um then I'm going to use Atlantis over here, and let's see, that's it, so my dark turquoise, if you can see that color. So the reason that I use three three different blues when I do my ocean is because I'm from Florida. I love the beach. And if you've ever been like parasailing or just looked down from uh, an airplane or anything like that, then you can see that the different depths of the water create the different colors of the blue, especially in tropical water. Um, and I feel like using three blues gives me that depth that I'm looking for. Okay, so for this Atlantis, um, they've been out of the, the turquoise color that I like to use. So I do also add eye candy um, Okinawa. 
So it is this one. Just because it's kind of transparent, the just resin, the Atlantis, it's kind of transparent. And I feel like you just got to use a lot of the paste. But if I add just a touch of the mica, um, it gives it that opaqueness um, that I'm looking for. So I just add a, a touch of that and then it gives me, they're like the same color. It just gives me the same effects of the paste and then the opaqueness of the mica, the mica powder, the pigment. So as you can see, it's more opaque now. Okay. All right, so let's go do our boards. I'm going to take the camera over there first and set up. All right, let's go this way. Got another clock going, Ted, if you're still here. Um, Hold on. One second. That's where we're going. I gotta get my extension cord. That's why I got to get the extension cord together. All right, so we are going to start here on this one. And let me grab my heat gun and the colors, the resin. to um, kind of just keep things at a steady pace. All right, so this is for my last four. Now, when I do my boards, if you see here, I have this little piece of tape. So this tells me that this is the side that I'm doing. It's all taped off underneath. And um, I start with my dark. Dark turquoise. I just always start there. And then I do candy blue. And then I do the Atlantis slash Okinawa and to me, those are a good representation of, like, the depths of the ocean to give it that look um, that you're kind of initially, like, going for. That I'm going for. I'm not saying that you're going for the same thing that I'm going for, but that's just what I like. And... Um... Then I just use my hand. I like to be involved in my art like thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. I love getting dirty. I love getting my hands in. So when you're doing these, there's a couple of different ways to do it. 
you can prep your board underneath so that way you don't see through the resin. Personally, when I'm doing black walnut, I like to be able to see through the resin. I like to be able to see through and get that live edge. Um, but there are some boards that I will prep and paint underneath of them. So it just depends on that look that you're going for. And then I kind of just blend these all together and I make this wave pattern of whatever it is that I'm going for um, with my hands. And then I'll bring the dark up or I'll bring the light back as if it's like a sandbar or something like that. And I'll just make the, like I said, the wave pattern. Sometimes depending on how the, the wood is shaped or the green or anything else, it just... You kind of just go with it and do what you see fit with what. Everybody's, everybody's going to have their own style. A lot of people ask me, they're like, why do you help? Like, basically when I started doing resin art, um, I started my business a little over four years ago. And the amount of gatekeeping that there was, um, it's really disturbing to me. And I promised that I would never, ever, ever be that. Like, I don't like that. I didn't want to be that. I didn't like... It shouldn't have been as hard as it was to, to learn, you know? Like, I got it. Don't get me wrong. Shit, I made damn near 40 grand my first... From August to tax time, I had to end up doing taxes my first what, August, September, October, November, December, my first four months, I made $10,000, like $10,000 each month, I made 38000 And I had no experience at all. So I had no tools, I had no shop. So everybody that tells me all the excuses of why they can't do this or whatever, like, I don't hear it. <laughs> I don't hear it. Because I didn't start in a shop. I didn't start with Festool tools. I started at the bottom. I poured on a secondhand dresser because <laughs> it was a flat surface. My third item I ever made was a dining table. Like I started my business with less than $200. I had 168 bucks. My daughter had to get life-saving surgery. She had a soft airway, laryngomalacia. Um, and I was just a mommy on a mission, basically. <laughs> like, I, my baby needed me, and I stepped the fuck up, and I didn't, I haven't looked back. Excuse my language. I gotta watch my mouth on YouTube as well. So, all right. So, now I'm gonna put white down. Um... I'll post this board on the Resin Beginners group in Facebook um, just so that way you can see the true colors of these blues because YouTube is, I don't know if I just, like, I have a good camera, like I, I spent extra so that way I could have a good camera on my phone, it works great for TikTok and, and everything else, it's just not good on YouTube, so I don't know if I got to change the resolution or anything like that, but I will do that ASAP tonight, I'll look into it. Um, I have a beginner's Facebook resin group. It's called Nita's Fluid Woodworks Resin Insiders. It's on Facebook, and I will post this on there after I get out of the shop tonight. Um, okay, so I'm doing a clear. And then I'm going to ride the white over the clear. If you cannot master your waves, try this. There's usually only one thing that is keeping you from getting the cells and lacing, and it's that you are not, you don't know how the, the cells and lacing is made. So basically, the white, is heavy and it drops through 
and that creates the the cells in the lacing so ride it on the clear and you will have cells okay try it and if you don't have a problem with it well then good i hope you can make beautiful waves all right so this white is true white like i said this is my white pigment it's by nita's fluid woodworks you can find it on my website or on facebook All right, so this I add right on the edge of the clear and the wood. I want some of it to be on the wood so that way it doesn't get pushed. So that's where I want my wave to start. And like I said, I suggest that you um, just kind of practice around just to learn what happens when you like push it this way or do it this way because everything's going to create something just a little different. Even the way you hold your heat gun is going to be different. You know what I mean? So just learning your craft is super important taking the time and just kind of perfecting your skills and i say perfecting loosely because i don't think anybody's ever going to get anything perfect especially a freaking artist like there's no way there's always room for growth and um the minute you think you know everything is the minute you become unteachable and i always think we have room for growth so Keep, keep an open mind. You could be looking at this video right now like, bitch, you don't know what you're doing. And, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, wait. I gotta get my cell magic real quick because after I push this, I'm gonna spray my spray on there. All right. So this is my cell magic. This is, this creates the cells in the lacing, okay? So not only is pushing this, I, the white that I sell creates cells in lacing, but that also like just kind of makes it pop or but like pop out. some of these cars around here they're so loud and annoying <laughs> and they like are purposely loud like they want them to sound like that and they sound so bad I used to work on cars I did cars and painted cars before I got into resin um, I'm a psychology major just a little about me I was going to school for social work um, I, uh, I wanted to be a substance abuse therapist, counselor. I had an internship for some years. I am in recovery. I've got a little bit over six years clean. I've been to prison. I've been to jail. Um, more times than I'd like to admit. But today I am a mommy. Um, 
I have two biological kids and three bonus babies. I am not proud of my past, but I also use it to help people that are in those situations and just let them know, man, if I can, if I can get out, anybody can get out. Like I've lost best friends and um, I just try to create hope. When I got out, I wasn't sure which way I was gonna go. Like, and it wasn't until I had my first child I'm 38 now. I had my first child, uh, she'll be four, and um, it really wasn't until um, having her and her have her medical issues that I never thought I'd be doing this. I wanted to, like I said, do substance abuse counseling. I didn't want to do woodworking. I didn't know anything about woodworking, you know? It's just the way life takes you sometimes. It's just very um, unexpected, but you kind of just go with it and roll with the punches. I'm going to grab my torch real quick, and then I'm going to spray my cell spray, okay? All right. So... You can use mini kitchen torches. You can use these big old propane torches. You can use self-igniting torches. Um, just as long as you pop the bubbles, you're good. You can also, if you're using my cell kit, you can create the cells and the lacing with your torch. Um, absolutely, freaking lootly, you can do that. All right, so here's my cell magic. Um, let me just show ya. Can you see? Can you see what happens? All right, so there's that. And I'm just going to, so basically I'm not doing my traditional anything right now, okay? Everything is just kind of, um, I want it to be super different and super, uh, just different, like different than any of the other stuff that I do throughout the year. I always do this during the holidays, um, I just do. I really like to, uh, my clients know that nobody else is gonna have a piece like theirs. Nobody, I don't give a damn how many resin artists there are out here. Nobody's gonna have a piece like theirs. I promise that. Like, I firmly believe that you can put, um, 10 different people in one room and all those people can get the same products and be told to create the same thing, the same one thing. And in doing that, you're still going to get 10 different things. So that's just, that's my beliefs. That's what I believe. That's why I do not mind helping people at all so let me just show you the i'm not going for my traditional um cells and lacing at all like i said i want these to be very 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 unique crap god i wish you guys could see it's not even like letting me focus on here that is bull i'm gonna post this in the resin group okay and you guys will be able to see this um but you get the general idea of wish I could really fix this. This camera is really pissing me off. All right, so we're going to do this board next. Okay. And I'm going to do my turquoise. Mm-hmm. 
Oh god, I can't even sing songs on here. I forgot. <laughs> it's annoying. I should have enough resin left for one more piece. But we'll see. We shall see. Let me move the clear and the white real quick. And of course, you can always, always, always mix up more resin. So the people that are here right now, do you follow me on any other platforms? Is this your first time watching me? Um, are you familiar with me? Like, who are you? I would like to get to know my followers over here on on youtube um i really really i appreciate the support um i always try to support back if you have a channel let me know and um i can support you back what kind of work do you do i'm gonna start um i am gonna try to do tumblers um i just did a tiktok video about about doing doing tumblers i think i'm ready i've had people trying to get me to do them and i've just not done them they're like nita like you should really do them and i'm like yeah Okay. <laughs> no. Honestly, I wasn't ready to bring another thing onto my plate for real, for real. Like, I just wasn't. I've got some ammunition boards coming up soon. Um, probably, hmm, by my next live sale. I'm gonna do this. Hey, TikTok and babe, really? I didn't know you were on here, but thank you for being on here. I appreciate it. Seriously, I do. She ain't gotta do that. Love you. All right, there's that. Babe, did you get a notice or a notification that I was live or going live on YouTube or were you on TikTok and just heard me say it? Like, I want to know how that works. I'm going to go on the other side. Doesn't this live suck a lot more? <laughs> like, doesn't this live kind of suck a little bit? Not, I'm talking about the video quality, like, can you see the colors as if you were here in the shop with me, babe? Because what I, from what I'm seeing, it's just not, like, there, that quality of the video that I have on the other platforms. Remember when I went, when we did the live sale, and it was like, um... I was on the one camera and the TikTok uh, live was like janky while the Facebook one was really, really good. 
Like that's how I feel like this video. That's how I feel like this video is doing. Are you gonna be back in time for Ariana? darker stuff here. I feel like the darker colors on the light would just look better. I like them better. Hey, mm. that's the alarm. I think I gotta get off here real quick. Sorry, let me move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. I gotta go. I gotta finish this, but I gotta go, but I gotta finish this, but I gotta go. Babe, are you close? Melinda. All right. All right, we're putting a clear down. I'm gonna have to get off here, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Gonna work till I hear a beep, I guess. <laughs> they will beep. I already got one, thanks.
All right, I gotta get off here. I will be back. Fuck, I don't wanna get off here. <sighs> Let's spray my cell magic on here. And I'm trying. Didn't I do it? I got the bot off. Can you still see them? Okay, good. Good. I'm like, yeah, don't nobody want... You see it? Oh, my God. I'm trying to get the... Oh, shit. Hold on. All right. Let me see. Remove. All right. So I'm going to get off here because I have to. And um, I'll try to come back because I've still got resin that i got to pour. So, all right, guys. 